It is the Daily Dose celebrating one year in our TV on television. And of course, we want to hear from you because we are the backs that carry our station. We can't do this without you. Thank you for inviting us into your homes. Let us know about your memories over the past year. Hit us up on the WhatsApp number that's coming up on screen. Hashtag Daily Dose. Let us know who you are or where you are, what you remember. And of course, you can hit us up on our social media platforms. That's NRTV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube, LinkedIn, wherever you are, like, subscribe, follow, pick an app, like, subscribe and follow and you're good to go. Now, of course, we've got so much lined up for you throughout this day and it's going to be a beautiful day. And right now, we are joined by Rose from the Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, CCZ Academy, to take us through the upcoming launch of the Academy and what's going to take place. Good morning. Good morning. It's so you. nice to meet you. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It, it is. Our birthday it's, days are always here. Yes, They're happy birthday. Like... In our TV, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so mm. exciting. And of course, to come through and celebrate it with the CCZ is the most amazing thing. Talk us through what's going on with the CCZ, the launch that's coming up. Um, thank you very much. We are excited as CCZ because for the past 69 years, we've been um, advocating for consumer rights, consumer responsibilities. We have joined the international community in terms of consumer protection, and we are actually a member of what is called Consumers International, which is the global consumer voice, right. which the whole world recognizes. And as Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, I'm glad to say that we are pitched at a high level uh, at that forum. And within Africa, we are one of the best consumer organizations. And um, suffice to say, actually, we came number three out of more than 200 consumer organizations in the world. I'm not even surprised. Yes. That is it, because if it was not number one, definitely top three, for yes. sure. Yeah, that's the Number one was the United Kingdom. Number two was Co South Korea. And number three was Consumer Council of Zimbabwe. That's amazing. And I think the country needs to know that uh, the efforts that this organization takes in protecting them mm. are huge. In fact, the 69 years, next year we are going to be celebrating 70 years. Mm. Um, one of the major milestones that we have made at CCZ is um, lobbying for the Consumer Protection Act. It took almost 20 years lobbying and finally government recognized this the importance of this law right. and in 2019 they enacted the consumer protection act now we have said we cannot just have a law that is not known by the consumers or by the suppliers of goods and services therefore we need to educate the public mm. particularly the suppliers the business community so that they know what is enshrined in the act what are they required to do in order to ensure that they do not go against the law that's right because if they go against the law they will be punished there are fines we actually lobbied for an enforcement wing uh, the police our police as consumers right and uh, we now have what is called the consumer protection commission so we continue to lobby and to advocate for a consumer-friendly environment. And um, when things are not well, we take it to the police. Right. So that they are fined, you know, they are given compliance notices, they are imprisoned, you know, things like that. But we don't want people to be imprisoned. Right. People should know what they are supposed to do. So in light of that, what kind of courses are there when you're doing the training for all the consumers and all the stakeholders? Um, there are various uh, training courses that the CCZ is offering. In fact, we have partnered with the um, oldest higher institute of learning, and you know it's the University of Zimbabwe. Right. So we've partnered with them through a memorandum of understanding, and we shall be offering various courses that are, you know, in line with the Consumer Protection Act. Right. For example, people need to, to know how to maneuver on the market, they need to know their rights. Suppliers need to know the rights of consumers so that whenever they are dealing with people, they know exactly how to handle the customers. Because now, 
the law is in place. CCZ lobbied for the law and government right. gave us the law and it's now working. So if it is not followed, people will be found on the wrong side of the law and that will be it. That's very, very and true. we don't want them to, you know, to suffer that. We want them to know. Remember, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Yes. It's a frustrating statement, but it's very, very true. It's ignorance very of the law. So in terms of um, whether I am a consumer or a masala or I'm a stakeholder in this, where what kind of facilities or resources the CCZ actually um, provide that we can actually sit down and actually have access to? As consumers, we have a lot of resources, particularly our modules. We, we will be offering, um, you know, courses to do with understanding the Consumer Protection Act. We will also be talking about conciliation and arbitration. Remember the CPA, the Consumer Protection Act, has come in with um, a lot of consumer redress. In fact, the whole law is really to address issues of fairness. So conciliation and arbitration is a very important aspect. And CCZ is going to be designated as the conciliation and arbitration organization. When uh, we are overwhelmed, obviously other organizations can also come in. Sure. Yes. Um, other courses that we'll be offering are based on financial literacy and inclusion. Remember, these are the global issues. And we are saying consumers should not be left behind. For any economy to grow, if we want the Zimbabwean economy to grow, consumers must be on board and they must also contribute because it has been known globally that it is only those countries that have enough respect for consumers who can actually grow. Those economies have grown. If you look at the United Kingdom, right. they, South Korea, South Korea yeah. you want to look even at our neighbor, South Africa. Right. They have a lot of consumer protection mm -hmm. and this is why their economy grows. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, now, to educate these consumers, obviously you've got instructors, you've got experts who are coming in and doing training programs. Exactly. What are these key elements in that, the instructors and the trainers? We have... Um, a lot of trainers. We have the local trainers who are part of our academy, obviously from Consumer Council of Zimbabwe, from the University of Zimbabwe, mm. from other disciplines as well, because we shall be offering many different courses. We also have our Consumers International experts who will be joining the, the, the team for the trainings, mm -hmm. yes. So we have a lot of experts in this. Now, in terms of, I know we're running low on time here, but then in terms of the, the, the actual um, input and feedback that's coming in from consumers and of course from students who want to come in and um, be part of these training courses, um, what's the uptake like in terms of the size of the classes and what's the uptake like in terms of the community in general and, 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 and marrying into uh, what the CCZ is doing the absolute work about right now? Our classes, so far, there will not be more than 30. But I'm sure as time grows, we will be enlarging them. Depending on demand, we may split classes because there are many modules. So depending on what somebody wants to begin mm. with, that will determine the number of our classes. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. And we shall also be having international students joining the bandwagon. So this is an internationally recognized course for sure yes yeah so if people want to get more information about how they can get into these courses how do they get in touch with you how do what are the schedules looking like um we have many ways of uh, finding out they can call our whatsapp number which is 0773 434 mm. i will repeat that 0773 145 or they can get in touch with us on our landline which is uh, 0242 498 441 498 441 in Harare mm -hmm. at our head office so people must feel free to join this in fact it's always good to be a pioneer sure yes yes mm -hmm. I'm, most, I'm actually thinking about it now like I need to make some time and come through now your schedules I think I made I say um, we are very flexible in terms of schedules and we, we will make that information available upon registration sure. because there will be different classes. Mm -hmm. So we will make um, the schedules available 
you know, people will be able to choose which which sections, I mean, which sessions they would want to join. Right. They want the evening classes, they want the day classes, weekend classes, whatever they want, mm -hmm. what is suitable for them. Okay, so before we let you go, once again, those contact details, the numbers again, because I know someone is sitting there. Yes. So on our WhatsApp number, uh, you can get through to us on 773 Four three four one four five. I'll repeat again: zero seven seven three four three zero seven seven three four three four one four five. And for our um, landline, it's zero two four two four nine eight double four one four nine eight double four one. You know what? We're also going to make sure we're going to post them up on our social yes. media accounts because we want maximum uptake from everybody. And yes. of course, like you were saying, all the stakeholders involved from yes. the consumers to the sellers and the resellers. Exactly. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. It's Happy birthday, NRA TV. You make us proud. You bring out the consumer voice and we are there for you. Thank you very much. Absolutely love it. Keep it locked on. It is the Daily Dose on NRA TV. One year. And of course, don't forget, check us out on the social media platforms, NRA TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever it may be. Hit us up and get all the information that we're talking about here. The CCZ is there for you. And you know what? You're the one who's going to benefit the most from it. All right. So make sure that you follow us so you get all that information and get in touch with the Consumer Council of Zimbabwe. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Don't go anywhere.